Okay. okay. I'm here with uh, Nicholas Byrne and Vince, uh, oh, yeah. notorious star of Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2, Nightbreed, and also, here's, here's a bit of trivia, uh, Dark This Is The Offer, which I saw last year. Which one? The Offer. Oh, The Offer, yes. yes. Dark This Is The Offer, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was fantastic. Thank you. Um, we had fun doing that. Yeah, it looked like a lot of fun on set. It was, it yeah. certainly was. Yeah, yeah. It was just nice to meet up with all the, I'd not seen Oliver Smith. I'd worked with Simon on one of the previous um, cult screenings. I uh, did some DVD extras for them on the um, Fright Night documentary. Um, but it was the first time we'd worked with um, uh, Oliver Smith and Barbie Wilde. Um, so that was really good, and a whole load of cool new young people, but also Bruce, obviously, who is, is hardly young. Um, he, he was. Um he was very entertaining. <laughs> yes. yes, he did a really good job with that part. He did an amazing job. It was a very difficult part. Um, and then, um, and of course, I got to hang out with Ken Cranham uh, for an afternoon. I wasn't in the scene with Ken, but got, I went when they were doing his recording. It was lovely to see Ken. I've not seen him for ages. Uh, although I've seen him uh, subsequently. So yeah, it was good fun. Glad you yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, um, so obviously, we it's, it's, it's the obvious questions about, about Hellraiser, but obviously mm. it's 30 plus years old now, is it 31 years? 31 years? years this year, so it was the 30th anniversary of the release last year, mm. 31, so Hellbound must be its 30th this yeah. year, and then in a couple of years it will be uh, Nightbreed. Yes, um, so obviously for, for that sort of role as the Chatterer, mm. um, very little screen time, certainly in the first film, but mm. obviously a lot of prosthetic and makeup work that yes. kind of went into the look. Yes. Um, what was your kind of reaction when you first kind of got to work with it with Clive? I just loved it. I, it, we, had, it, it we just had a great deal of fun. It was tough. It was long hours. It was, you know, um, wearing the makeup was uncomfortable um, and difficult uh, and so on. So there's all, that, all those limitations. But um, it was just fun. You know, we had a great deal of, you know, we were in this really small studio in the north of London, the production village, which is no longer there, uh, in Cricklewood. Um, but it was just such a great bunch of people. And of course, I got to know the guys from Image Animation who created all the makeup um, in the months leading up to it, because I met them about three months before we started filming. Uh, which is normally which is not what you normally do when you're making a movie. You just turn up the day or the day before and, and do your bit. Um, unless you're one of the stars, in which case you're going to be one of the first of the director. But the, you know, it was. So we had a lot of laughs. We had a great deal of fun. Yeah. They, they always say though that horror films are a lot more fun to make, whereas comedies are quite hard. I think I heard that. Before. Yeah, I, 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 I've heard that a couple of times recently, and I can imagine why because you got to, you know. With comedy, the timing has to be so perfect, uh, you know, to get it absolutely right. And you're also, I've never done a comedy. Um, I've kind of said that one of the recent roles, the, um, there is a, there's a kind of a humorous uh, slant to a, a, a film called Heckle. Um, and you, I, don't see, I got to see The Rushes. Normally I don't watch The Rushes. Um, he said, you, you watch this book, it's really good. Um, it's not, it is, he said he described it as comedy gold, and it's the comedy of the embarrassment. Um, so that's the closest I got. But generally, it was a, it's a very dark felt heckle. Um, it's just that it's lighter moments. Um, to to yeah. um, so obviously, how Ra Razor gets made and obviously becomes this kind of this cult, this cult favourite. Mm. Were you really surprised to kind of go back into it so soon afterwards for the second one? Yeah, I mean, that was very unusual. It was, it had just, because, you know, that they filmed so quickly after, that was great for them, bank balance. Um, but yeah, I think that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, I'm just delighted, you know, you're all there. Because the great thing was Clive kept more or less the same gang. We worked with Image, Image Animation again on all, you know, both Hellraisers and on Nightbreed. Um, so, doing those those things it was like going back to work with family again yeah. um, so yeah that was great fun 
did you did you worry in terms of um, with your career of getting typecast as kind of a um, um, a kind of a prosthetic kind of specialist? Obviously, with going in with night rings, obviously in wearing a lot of. I, I wish I. I mean, basically, my attitude was. I always remember I came across a quotation from uh, Vincent Price who said, "Thank heavens for typecasting." That everyone, they, every time they wanted somebody tall and sinister, they picked up the phone for me. Um, I, by the time I'd made the third movie, at the end of the third movie, I decided I didn't want to do acting anymore anyway, and I had, uh, focused on writing. Um, so I, I, there was never any real danger. I did, I did want to get into Doctor Who, and then they cancelled Doctor Who. I thought, great, you know, I can do... Yeah, you'd be good on Doctor Who. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Prosthetic is on Doctor Who. Um, but yeah, no, they cancelled Doctor Who. Um, so yeah, it, it didn't really impact me. Yeah. Um, and I think you've got a film coming up at Fright Fest. Is it The Book of Monsters? The Book of... Uh, not The... Book, not, no, it's not, Book of Monsters. It's no. Book of Monsters. Yeah, I keep on adding the definite article yeah. and being told off for it. Yes, Book of Monsters, uh, directed by Stuart Spark and written by Paul Butler. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that and looking out with it. I think most of the cast are going to be there as well. Yeah. So I'm kind of writing off the rest of the day in terms of seeing films. Because yeah. uh, we're first thing in the morning, we're 11 o'clock on the Saturday morning. I think there may still be a few tickets left, not sure. Um, but I think it's going to be really, really special. I'm so looking forward to seeing it. And I'm guessing you've been to Fright Fest quite a lot as well every year. Uh, only in the last two, three years. Um, because uh, I left, once I, I, I rose and then I ended up horribly in debt, so I left all that creative stuff behind and ended up in computers. So I only came back to the business in 2012 and then I started going to Fright Fest. Um, and I was just blown away by it. I, had such, I always had such a good time. I had a really, really good time. Today. So looking forward to it. And uh, have you got any other kind of um, horror projects in the pipeline? Yeah, I've done a lot of cameos recently. This year has been a year of cameos. It's been great fun. So I've done uh, an Italian film called Fuck You Immortality. <laughs> um, I've got a cameo in that, and that we filmed in Italy. I think that's probably going to be coming up. They've already shown a trailer for it, but I don't know when it's going to be released or when it's going to stream. Um, Just then, for the title alone. Yeah, I know. No, quite if that's the title it's going to be. When it got, I can't really see that doing terribly well on this. Presumably the F asterisk asterisk asterisk. Yeah. Um, but so they may have a different title by the time people get to see it. Um, there is Heckle, uh, which I referred to earlier on. That's coming out later. Uh, I think that's coming out, excuse me, I've got a hiccup. Coming out early next year. Um, there's, there's Heckle. Uh, I've just done the, the cameo in. Um, two Hex Studio films. Uh, there's The Black Gloves that's just ah, been yes. released and then there is um, uh, Black Gloves and then there's an uh, anthology film for We Are Many and I'm in the wraparound segment for that. We filmed that in the freezing cold and the rain on the coast on the uh, Close to the fourth up in Scotland. They always say you have to suffer for your art. Yeah they do, <laughs> they do. It's so cold. It's so cold. And so wet. Um, that was uh, yeah. That was that was interesting um, experience. But really enjoyed doing that. Oh, and that's going to be out early next year, I think, if not later this year. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. That's my pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.